Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the timing on the cold arriving in January because I'm getting a lot of questions about like, oh, well it looks warm to start, so how are you seeing these things? Now, there's two videos I'd recommend you check out. First off, my January forecast. That way you can see that I am calling uh, for cold in the east. And then also my breakdown of the January forecast I'd highly recommend as well because I go a little bit deeper into a lot of the models that I check out on this one. So I'd highly recommend that one at least for this video. You've probably already seen my January forecast, but the breakdown one I definitely recommend. Now we're going to get right into this. Uh, we're going to be looking at the CFS to begin with. I don't like this model very much, but it does mean a lot when it does show cold because it has a warm bias. So if it does show cold, that, that means a lot to me. Uh, a lot of people hate on this model a lot. I do as well. People hate on me for using this model at all, and they say it's irresponsible for me to even show it. But I show it because you have to take away certain things from it. Now we're looking at the, th uh, this is the 27th through the 3rd of January, so to begin January, you see very hot for that, for that eastern region of the United States, south central, uh, southwestern central regions of the United States, or south Rockies, southern Rockies region, it looks really cold though, um, we're going to see a kind of a pattern switch here from the 3rd to the 10th though, you can see really flips around. Now we have that warm up there for the northern United States and the western United States and then really cold for the east coast of the United States and southeastern coast of the United States. Really the southeastern United States as a whole there from that third to tenth time frame. So somewhere between the third and the tenth we're going to see a really big switch to cold uh, for the east coast of the United States according to this model. And I think it's going to be right around the fourth, we're going to see a trough come in for the eastern United States, and it might warm up briefly again, but after the sixth, it's going to cool down a lot more. And I'm going to show some more models just to back that theory. Looking at the ECMWF EPS, so this is the European Ensemble model. Again, this is from the first through the sixth of January. You can see it's still warm in the eastern United States and that southern Rockies region, again, quite cold. And we're going to see something happen here. Uh, between the 7th and the 12th, you can see that we've completely flipped just like on the other model where it's warm in the western United States, especially the northwestern United States or in northern Rocky region, Montana, North Dakota, that area. And really we're cold in the southeastern United States especially, but northeastern United States is quite cold as well. Now... We're also going to take a look here at the geopotential height because this tells us a lot about the trough location and the ridging location. This is important on a on an ensemble model because they tend to average out and not show too extreme of temperatures. So this really shows us where they're leaning towards having a trough and where they're leaning towards having a ridge. Again, we're looking at the 27th through the 1st of January here for the geopotential height. I want you to pay attention to that blue line you see. It says 540. It's really little, but you'll see a blue line. Uh, and if you pay attention to that, you'll be able to see where the troughs and ridges are. If it goes down, it's a trough. If it goes up, it's a ridge. First off, on, on, on this first slide, you can see there's a ridge in the east, trough in the west. Again, we saw that on the temperatures, so it's quite evident. Now, already by the 3rd to the 8th, we can see that there's a trough in the east, ridge in the west going to move on to a different uh, time frame. 8th to the 13th, again, trough in the east, ridge in the west. 15th through the 20th, kind of trough in the central United States, but it, it is for the eastern United States as well. A little bit, you know, further west, though, on that. Still a ridge up against the west coast, though. And then by the 25th through the 30th, trough in the east, ridge in the west. So this is why I see January being really cold. And also... Well, my analogs certainly agree, and if you watch the breakdown video, it'll explain a lot more about why I think so, but this is just looking at the models and kind of more of the timing on that, but overall, according to the ECMDBF ensemble models, it looks pretty cold. We're also going to look at the GEFS, and this is the warmest model out of all of them, but it still has the cold, uh, and here's for the, the 28th through the 2nd of January. You can see warm up against that east coast. Again, Cold for the Rockies, cold for the central United States, cold for the West. And by the time it's first through the sixth, you can see it's starting to change, starting to shift east a little bit. Still, the east coast is a little bit warm there, uh, just because most of that time frame will be warm up against the east coast. Again, there should be a little trough around the third or fourth, but overall warm during that time frame. And then from the sixth through the eleventh, cold up against the east coast, warm up against the west. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, this kind of breakdown of the timing of the cold coming in, and I hope it answered a lot of questions. Again, it's overall going to be warm from the 1st till about the 6th of January. So I'm going to get a lot of comments from people that don't watch this video saying, 
oh, your January forecast is going to bust. Look at how warm it is in the East Coast. Just be patient. This happens all the time. Most of my monthly forecasts, it wasn't the pattern that it was going to be to begin with. The first few, or maybe even the first week, was differently than what I forecasted for, and people were calling it a bust. And then it switched and ended up being very accurate. Anyway, guys, have a great January. I hope everybody has, you know, everybody that wants snow gets snow. Everybody that doesn't want snow uh, stays really warm and does not get any snow. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.